Hi guys, welcome to what's going on in the news. I am Navon Beta, and this is my temporary co-host, Miss Cat. All right, so we're gonna be talking to you guys about, like I said, all the latest news. So without further ado, here we go. First, we're gonna be talking about three women who got arrested for um, carrying up to three million dollars in drugs in O'Hare Airport, trying to go back to Japan. Um, this happened on, da, 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 da. I don't know what day this happened on, but I know they were going to Terminal 5 and it, um, the time was at 4.20. Um, this article uh, was written on the 12th of May, so I'm guessing it happened sometime before that, obviously, you know? So, um, all together, these three, these three women right here, um, as you can see, they're all in their um, 40s. Let me see. Was it 40s? I thought they were in their 40s, right? Their 50s. Oh, they was in their 50s, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 57, 52, and 58, okay? So, I'm guessing this was the 58 one right there. So, 58, and we, we, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna shame them like that. Like, look, she you look clean. like you the oldest. She mad. You look like you the oldest, Miss Lady. She mad. She can't, get, she can't keep getting her money on. Look at her. Mm, yeah, she's too anxious. And then she's shocked. She looked like, what? oh, oh, me, let me stop. <laughs> I'm gonna play stupid. What? Now, she look gangster. She the only one that look gangster. Look, she look gangster. She's smiling a little she bit look like gangster. that. She yeah. like, fuck that shit. And then she look like, oh, no. Oh, wait, let me make sure y'all can see that. She like, oh, no, in the middle. She's like, damn. And she looked like, damn, like she was fighting ass. Like, y'all not taking me, bitch. Let me stop. Like, he was not taking me to jail. They all had um, 70 pounds total worth of uh, narcotics on them, of, 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 of opium. And their bail was set for $5,000, $50,000 each, which is $5,000. Because, you know, 10%, the 10% thing. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go on to that next thing top. Now, the story I want to talk about is how... <laughs> The CDC labs are getting sanctions for mishandling packages. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, usually, the CDC will deny that of any mishandling of any kind of packages. If you don't know what a pathogen is, a pathogen is certain viruses or bacteria or toxins that are <laughs> heavily regulated because of the potential of making bio weapons, like when the anthrax was in the mail, stuff like that. Mm. This stuff that killed people dead and stuff like that, they mishandled it. But the facility that was being cited, I don't know how many times by federal regulations, mm -hmm. has been closed down. So that's a good thing right there. I'm just saying, be careful. Cause once we dead, we can't say we sorry. Yeah, and it's by they have they were messing with bioterrorist uh, pilot pathogens, so it's like, yeah, that's definitely not good. To have some like what you call it, anthrax or whatever, to just mm -hmm. kill everybody with it, you know, to kill us all dead. Oh, uh, we don't have any pictures for this, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next. We have three pints, best hope yet for a hunt for life. Okay. Now, if you've been looking at the news, some of everybody been talking about this. I know I heard it on the news, even though I didn't watch it. I heard it and was listening to it one morning. Mm -hmm. It's three planets that's orbiting around an ultra cool, uh, ultra cool dwarf star. Mm. The dwarf star is just forty light years. Forty light years. Captain Spock, please beam me up. I'm ready to go. Beam me up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you know our solar system is the Milky Way and it expands a hundred thousand light years so for this door star to be only 40,000 light years away that's 200 gas up the car we on our way it's 240 million miles away basically in gas terms that we can time. understand yeah so it's so a long we way <laughs> we, but it's a long way it's a long way but our galaxy spans a hundred thousand light years so we still gonna be in the milky way galaxy right we're gonna basically. be close to home we could probably look up in the sky and see oh that way earth used to be at and that's if you don't get hit by an asteroid or freeze <laughs> to death or you know <laughs> They say they do the same, the same life. I advise everybody pack as much oxygen tanks as you can get, and let's go. 
I say you do it like the potato, like mm-hmm. almost like like you have like the plants in the ship to keep oxygen going. Uh, I don't know how they would do that. Don't sign me up for no shit like that, Last though. I'm not trying to go ship. to no space. I'm going on the Enterprise. Oh, shit. Forget that. Okay, so now we're going to talk about our next topic, okay, guys? All right, so Ron Manuel has is going to be blaming, or he has been blaming, um, his bad polling results on 40 years of financial neglect. Now, basically, this is saying that he is blaming uh, the former mayor, Richard Daly, and so the son and the father, uh, who were the mayor of Chicago, basically, for years and years and decades and decades for all the things that, they, that they've that they done with the corruption and, you know, who they've hired and all the corrupt politicians and police and etc. So, which actually has, which he actually does have a valuable point. Um, I think that even though I didn't vote for him, I voted for a third party, I feel like people are kind of like neg- negatively too negatively um pointing out you know little things like he's trying to do like the thing he tried to do with uh what do you call it the um Star Wars convention not not a convention but it was a uh, a museum like he was trying to just bring money to Chicago using a space that no one else was using or occupying but it would cost money but no one wanted to do it um but it, it is what it is. So I'm going to read a little bit about what uh, he said. He said, or what an article in the Sun Times said. It says only eight percent of Black people um, believe that uh, he cares about them. And uh, let's see here. He is quoted in saying, uh, "What I can alter and what I will never rest in the effort in that effort is the opportunity to make sure that whether." You're in Bronzeville, Inglewood, the back of the yards, Woodlawn, or Uptown, that you think the city of Chicago embraces you and your future. I'm not going to rest until everybody has a better chance at a better future and than they have today. So, and I believe, I believe what he's saying, but like I said, just said, he's... We he has, will see. You know. Let's keep an eye out. Because so many times we've been we didn't heard that before, and so many times we've been disappointed. So yeah. we will see. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I didn't vote for him, but you know, people did vote for him. So he here, and so there's nothing that we can do. Hey. <laughs> so if you don't vote, then you know, hey, it is what it is. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is, ooh, let me show you, actually show you a picture of him before we go to the next thing. This is how he looks for all those people who don't live in Chicago. That's, uh, me, Rami Emanuel. Oh, yeah, he's sexy and they, like, devilish, I'm going to kill you in, a, um, in your sleep type of way. Okay, so, we're going to go to the next topic now. Alright, so, pro- uh, probation, not prison, in mortgage fraud so a mr davis who was a former commander in the or for the chicago police department is going to be getting three years of probation for a uh, mortgage fraud scheme that he was running um i'm just going to read a little bit of that article for you and here is how that gentleman looked mr corrupt Mr. Uh, evil, <coughs> evil. Okay, so according to the charges, um, Robert Michael, a former CEO of the now de- defunct um, Citizens Bank and Trust, would wink his own bank into illegally lending $650,000 to Davis for a fraudulent purchase of an apartment building next to an opent. What is that? An orant? An orange 1920 era new regal theater, which um, Evans planned to renovate. Now, so basically, he was using um, over a half a million dollars to try to uh, buy a property. Mm-hmm. Um, and he had no business doing that, and a bank actually went bankrupt um, because of it, or lost a lot of funds, or something like that. So. Um, what do you think about that? I think that kind of goes to he Mr. Should. Rahm Emanuel's credit. Boosh, you know me something. He should go to jail. <laughs> he should get probation. He should go to jail. He got over a half million. Mm-hmm. Over a half million from a bank. But he was in a, he had a connection. If that would have been us, guess what? Feds, here we go. Right. Lock up time, here we go. No, no, uh, 
No, no wait, no, no nothing. Shit. Well, you'll be waiting, all right, in your motherfucking cell. Shit. Okay. So we're gonna go to the next topic, guys. We only got like a lot, like a shitload more. I can't, we can't take it, bitch. No, it's playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this next story is about child sex offenders. Now in this article, <coughs> it says child sex offenders lawsuit challenges legal restrictions. Okay. From the title. No. Don't nothing restrict y'all. Y'all got the <laughs> limits that you gon' get. You don't get no more. But let's read the article. <laughs> the plaintiffs all defend all identify only as John Doe are suing Illinois General Illinois Attorney General Lisa Manikin and Illinois State Police Director Leo Schmitz over statutes that require convicted child sex offenders to stay away from a broad range of vaguely defined locations. According to the lawsuit filed Monday in the U.S. District Court, the plaintiffs say statutes prevent them from going to church, going to public libraries, raising their families, and meaningfully participating in many recreational and social activities. The interpretation of these statutes has also deferred making the plaintiffs unsure about when they are committing a felony offense, the lawsuit said. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, now she's like, uh, okay. <laughs> You're a convicted. Listen to your charge. Mm. Convicted you child. Child offender. Not yeah. just sex offender. Mm, but a child, child sex, sex offender. offender. So you you're not supposed to be around no kids at no point ever. So you should just be happy that you're outside breathing fresh air. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on to the next story. <laughs> okay, so a man was uh, wrongfully imprisoned um, for he was supposed to serve a 46 year prison sentence, but he ended up only serving 15 years of that, and now he is suing. He was, uh, his name is Jason Strong. This is a picture of him. He's some, uh, you know, it's a heavy set white guy. And the picture doesn't <laughs> do him justice. Um, okay, so it says the man was convicted and he served more than 15 years before, uh, finally getting, winning his freedom. It says here, Jason was found guilty of murdering a woman whose body was found, um, murdered in the Waukegan area forest preserve in 1999. Uh, okay, now it says it also says that um, Strong was sentenced to 46 years, like I just previously stated. And now I'm going to read you a, a little section section of um, of what I also found. The evidence against Strong had um, had rotted. What did I say? Eroded. Eroded. Yes, eroded slowly until little remained to suggest he had killed the woman whose badly beaten body was found in a forest on the Waukegan North Chicago border. Okay, authorities agree that <coughs> to clear strong after patholo what what did I say pathologicalist path pathologicalist yes no mm -hmm. path yeah path pathologicalist I guess that's a, a when people a person who studies in like lies or something what no the a pathologist that, like, is a person oh germs yeah and, okay yeah so they they um did a report that indicated per Part of the prosecution that had been wrong the whole time. Um, what the hell did I say? Girl, Thunder, read this shit. <laughs> about the time. Girl, just read it from the top because I'm like, what the hell? Authorities agreed to clear strong after pathologist reports indicated prosecutors had been wrong about the time. Sunderling died and the nature of her wounds. Prosecutors originally contended that Sunderling was beating badly the night before her body was found. A contention that matched the witness statements and confession. The recent medical evidence, however, indicated she likely died days before she was found and that some of her injuries were weeks or months old, suggesting chronic abuse before her death. Hmm. Now, 
I'm not gonna lie. If that was me and I was wrongfully accused, you can't get your life back for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'ma need y'all. Cause mm -hmm. that, that could have been years I could have been working. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, Starting a family long. or watching my family grow. Yeah. And it's gonna be hard trying to find a job because you still gotta explain them years because that you weren't working. I was wrongfully accused. This man got murder on his background forever. Mm-hmm. Always gonna have that what if. Did what and if that's how the employer's gonna be looking like what if. What if his ass was that I, he, he was in the newspaper. <laughs> Is he gonna snap today? Oh my god. All right. Don't hold it against them though. Don't hold it against them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he was wrongfully accused crazy like people go to and it's it's every every newspaper article i get there's always one article like that where someone is getting out of jail and they are suing because they they were wrongfully in prison for decades you know it's like how do you have someone locked up for decades and it's, it just makes no sense it's, un, it's unfathomable to have someone locked up that long and you don't even have a, a concrete yes this person committed the crime you know, there's doubt. I thought if there was doubt, then you let them the fuck go. <laughs> Shit, because it's supposed to be without a reasonable doubt, right? Without a reasonable doubt, this person is guilty, right? And that's how you convict people in America. What happened to that? Because it sounded like there was a bunch of doubt from the article that, you know, when I read it, it was like they they had people who were saying that he didn't do it. People who could vouch for his location, etc. And stuff like that. So, but besides, you know... The pathologist and stuff like that. So, uh, okay, we're gonna move on to the next topic. What are you gonna pick, girl? Okay. So, guys, there is going there. They have a drag con. I, this is gonna be real short and brief. All these last ones. Let me see. I hope you guys can see it properly. Mm -hmm. In law in L. A. In L. A. They have a drag con, which is um, in honor of Miss mm -hmm. RuPaul's Drag Race. So yeah, they are all dressed up to the nines, you know. Most of them are are drag queens, but I see some transgender girls there as well, and a lot of white guys. No black guys. I see a black girl, but I'm guessing she's trans, probably. More than likely, darling. That's the only black person I see. But that's so cool. And that would be the second black person if I was in Los Angeles, because I would be all over that. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's cool. So, we're gonna move on to, if you didn't know, now you know. Next topic. Okay. What are you gonna pick next? Okay. Um, Justin Bieber's back into the news. Now he's making a decision. No fan photos for the beef. For a long time, this young man has seemed depressed. Mm -hmm. He's been doing shows. He's been trying to work his way through it but he's been going through something you know trying to find himself really you can tell he's trying he's trying to find himself hard and he lost himself because he got his fame when he was right in you know at those teenage years when you do find yourself and instead of finding himself he was you know finding money so you know basically his childhood's gone now and i mean look at him in this picture he looks like he was from fucking 19 the 1990s like a fucking uh, what does he call it? Backstreet Boy. He looks like a fucking Backstreet Boy or something. Like, who dresses yeah, like that? Yeah, but he's been going through something. And all I can say is, Justin, calm down, dude. Yeah, like, Breathe. who? Like, how dare you? Like, who wants to take pictures with you anyway? I've never been a fan of yours, so you don't have to worry about me asking for no pictures with your ass because I don't even, I've never liked any of your music at all. Like, you suck. You and really like, do. okay, I'm going to read a little bit of this uh, article. It says that Justin Bieber quote, it has gotten to the point that people won't even say hi to me or recognize me as a human. I feel like a zoo animal and I want to be able to keep my sanity. You wasn't worried about your sanity when you was getting all that money. Boop! <laughs> you was taking all the pictures and doing all the interviews that you had to do to get that money. Now Justin, your money ain't coming as much as you trying to get annoyed right, by it. but you know what I'm saying? Once you make a hit, you gotta keep making hits. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep on having your name out there. You gotta keep pushing forward. You gotta keep on your grind. Mm-hmm. 
you can't just lay back and lay low and then say people don't recognize me. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we fade into the background after a while. Yeah, because your, your picture is actually... Just bring yourself back out. Your That's picture right. actually is one of the smallest pictures in the, and out of all the articles that we got. Shit. You got murderers that got better, bigger pictures than you. Just come out with something hot. Yeah, That's all you, I can he's say. just, just, just mad because he's starting to become just, irrelevant. Just you're breathe. irrelevant, Justin Bieber. Get a life. You're irrelevant, okay? Just, just like breathe. just like you're irrelevant in this fucking article. Irrelevant. Oosh. Okay, no, it's like... <laughs> like, shit, I'm going to be messy now. Okay. Now we're going to talk about this sexy criminal. Let me stop. No, it's like... <laughs> um, so, man, please guilty after he shot a cop. Uh, the cop's name, and this happened in Chicago, Illinois, happened to, in 2012 in November. Um, the man's name is Paris Sadler. Sad, Sadler, yeah, Sadler. Okay, there he is. He's kind of cute. He's a cute fellow. Young, young man. Uh, 24 years old. Uh, he was trying to, trying to get, um... I don't know why I said that he was breaking curfew at the time in 2012, if he's 24, but whatever. I mean, that was, how many years ago was that? 24, so that would have been, what, 20? Four years ago? He would have been 20. How the hell would you would have been breaking curfew? That don't even make sense, y'all. I'm sorry, I just realized that. That don't make sense. So, police were trying to stop him for curfew violation. And they're saying that, um, Sattler tried to escape into a friend's house, but the buddy wouldn't open the door. Sattler then turned around and shot Pearson, who was the police officer, um... Authority said around that time, one bullet struck Pearson, Pearson bullet bulletproof vest, and the other hit him in the uh, artery in his shoulder. Now that's that goes to show you that if your ass wasn't a bulletproof vest, that shit don't mean nothing. This is a police officer who's who has the top notch, you know, armory. And if you still get shot anywhere besides your fucking chest, you still could die, like legit. Like the bullet could, you can get shot in your arm, you can get shot in your leg, you can get shot. And your neck, you get shot in the head, you know, that bullet vest is protecting your heart, you know, and your intestines and stuff like that, which is great because that's the biggest portion of your body. But if they're a good shot and they hit you in any of those other spots, you could still die and the bullet could easily just, you know, go in one spot that's not bad and then travel and go up to a spot that's bad, like your artery and kill you, like clog it up. But so basically that's how this officer, um, uh, what's his name, Dale uh, Pearson died. Um, he was trying to plead not uh, innocence at first, but now he is pleading guilty. Any thoughts on that, Miss Cat? He can get you can get shot and still live, but he got hit in the artery. Mm-hmm. You know, so he bled to death. Mm-hmm. That's the slow and painful death. Oh you no, know, that's a fast so. death. Cause that's your artery. Your artery is your, one of your main blood vessels, so that your blood is just gonna be with the blood. That's one of your main uh, where your heart come blood thing. At, you know. That motherfucker died fast. If you ain't never seen that, if you ain't never seen that, you want to see a motherfucker, that's like, you look at a YouTube video called this mayor, mayor shoots himself. Look, upload that and you'll see it. It's a video on the, on YouTube. Um, and the guy like, he like, you know, right in his head and then, you know, the bullet comes out and the nigga just, he was, then you die, like, you could die like instantly. But, um, yeah, he died, so he was pronounced dead on March 19th. Wait, that don't make sense. How the hell was he shot? Oh, okay, the picture that I showed, happened. right, the picture that I showed was in November 2012. He died on, um, in March. How the fuck? Mm-hmm. He died in March, but this is the picture of him in November. Mm-hmm. See, look, this don't make sense, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Y'all try to make sense of that, because I don't get it. And we're going to move on, we're moving on, on. Sometimes, sometimes y'all corrupt, bitch. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> one, two, three. Go ahead. Pick one. Um, okay. Back to the, um, the planets that we probably could go live on that probably sustain life like Earth. Um, I have another, yet another one because it excites me. Okay, um, the um, NASA sets a world record of 1,284 planets. Okay, now NASA has a telescope called the Kepler. The Kepler telescope has looked up 
in perfect silence at the stars and found more than 1,200 new worlds. NASA said Tuesday that the Kepler constantly searching the cosmos for exoplanets circling other stars has detected an additional 1,200 84 planets outside our of our solar system. That more than doubles the spacecraft's previous tally of exoplanets. That gives us hope that somewhere out there around a star much like ours, we can eventually discover another Earth, said Alan Stefan, chief scientist at NASA in Washington. Okay. Maybe there is but people please believe we're not the only ones out here i believe there's other planets that do sustain life i'm not saying they communicating with us they coming to visit us or even talking to us but i do believe there are other planets mm -hmm. that sustain life yep and they use the new math technology to be able to find those planets so that was pretty cool too so they should be able to find a lot more um than that over 1200 so that's pretty cool but you know what i would love to know like out of all the planets like is we like the youngest planet are you talking about like, like in our it's milky our, way or something yeah, like it's our species like the youngest is no nah, we're you like know, one of the oldest for us to evolve more more and more oh shit my dreads are itching honey uh but no nah, we're like one of the oldest ones i think because like we're near the end of the tail of the milky way like middle towards like between the middle like in the middle but more towards the end of it kind of sort of if i'm thinking correctly that's all in theory of course i don't know maybe there's nothing out there maybe oh, if you go okay. out there you'll die and that'll just be in the end of it okay so guys our last story is going to be about uh animal abuse registry um there's this black guy right here you know and this is in chicago you know in the big in our big city let me stop Okay, but it says the Cook County Board is expected to vote Wednesday, which already has passed, on a ordinance that will create an animal abuse registry to prohibit convicted animal abusers from buying or adopting a companion animal for 15 years. Um, if a person fails to do this registry, they will be fined up to $2,000, and they might do some jail time, if I'm not mistaken. Um... If they can't, I guess, pay the fine or whatever. You know how it goes. You don't pay whatever you're supposed to pay. It goes into a warrant, blah, 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 up the channel. Don't want to be in jail for fucking animal, uh, not registering animal. That'd be like the dumbest shit in the world. Um, anyway, I thought this was kind of stupid because I'm like, yeah, who's going to catch the person with the animal? Like, who the no. fuck is going <laughs> to? That's, that's not what they, that's not what yeah, that is what they're talking about in a way, but that's not what they're talking about. They're talking about the actual person. No. They have to, like, how they call Mike Vick with the pits. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he get out, if this comes to pass and this beats a lot, when he get out, he will have to register himself like a sex offender mm -hmm. to this list. Mm -hmm. And failure to do that, he will have to pay two thousand dollars right but that's only if he gets a dog i mean it's a, I, I understand the law i like the law but at the same point it's like it's not gonna stop people from getting pets like they they aren't gonna care like it's not because first of all you would have to find someone who is a abuser of animals one and then the cops would have to know that they have animals and it is there's just too many ways to get around that like there's a lot of ways to get around that right and have an animal and have it for years and not get in trouble ever for it. You know, it's like if you if you have a dog, you could easily say, oh, this dog belongs to someone else. And, you know, then what? You know, and the dog, dog could be registered to someone else's name. Then what can you do? Nothing. But it's their dog. You know, so I don't know. It's kind of stupid. But whatever. So what are you? What are what is your message for the audience? You know, Mrs. Cat. Um, because, um, you know, this is, this is like one of the last videos before I do my final video of the day or whatever. Well, all I can say is stay updated, stay aware, and have peace. Mm. 
And I was saying, give me some more motherfucking subscribers and you'll get more fucking good videos, okay? Me tired of doing this shit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I, I don't even care about the damn subscribers. I'm doing this so I don't do drugs, okay? If you really want to know, I'm a fucking heroin addict. Oh! oh!